trending, sports, news, and more. Welcome to ASA Network. With Spain's women's national football team having their first ever FIFA Women's World Cup title, despite the mutiny that had 12 of the 15 players who took part not making Spain's World Cup squad and putting aside months of tumult and division to claim their first Women's World Cup title on Sunday, August 20th, 2023. The FIFA Women's World Cup has finally come to a close but has ended in much controversy. The Super Falcons, on the other hand, exceeding the expectations of Nigerian football fans by remaining unbeaten in the tournament's group stage holding England's Lionesses to a goalless draw in the initial 90 minutes until a penalty shootout determined the outcome, with England winning 4-2 disqualifying the Super Falcons from the tournament. One of the controversies has in a celebrating atmosphere after Spain's victory of their first female World Cup against Lionesses of England on Sunday afternoon. The players lined up at Stadium Australia to the hurriedly set podium to receive their medals. Upon Spanish football veteran Jenny Hermoso's turn, the Spanish FA president shook her palm, grabbed her head, and locked forward to glue his lips to hers and kissed her passionately. Since the incident, many officials in Spain are now calling for the 46-year-old Spanish FA president, Luis Ribelis, to be sacked with a meeting set up by the Royal Spanish Football Federation on August 25th to discuss the incident. Another controversy has the Super Falcons, who earlier this channel reported that the team were paid their $90,000 game fee for participating in the tournament. That statement has since been null, as the Super Falcons have not been paid their allowances. The Football Federation and the national team have been having this disputes over funding of the team. In the build-up to the just-concluded World Cup, Randy Wardrum, the Super Falcon coach, made some grievous allegations against the Nigeria Football Federation NFF, including a backlog of unpaid salaries. In an interview conducted early in July, the American said the NFF owed him 14 month salary, but the Federation later paid 7 months. The Federation Internationale des Associations de Footballes Professionnels FIFPRO, the global umbrella body for professional football players, also issued a forceful statement condemning the Nigeria Football Federation NFF for failing to pay Super Falcon players. The House of Representatives had in July resolved to intervene following the adoption of a motion moved by Olumide Osoba. The President of the Nigeria Football Federation, Ibrahim Kuso, and other officials were scheduled to appear before the committee on Wednesday. However, NFF Secretary General Mohamed Sanusi informed the committee that Mr. Kuso was ill and unable to attend. The chairman of the committee, Blessing Ono, rejected the explanation by the NFF FF representative, noting that Mr. Gosso was taking the committee for granted. Ms. Onu said the Super Falcons deserve to be paid their allowances after making the country proud at the World Cup. Nigerians are interested. Nigerians are watching. The girls did extremely well and they have made Nigerians proud. So we shouldn't take this investigative hearing lightly, she said. With all that said, kindly share your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe for more interesting content. Subscribe!